Here we're going to be tying a zug bug. Start off just by laying down a quick thread base. Then we're going to tie in just a couple, three or so strands of peacock curl for the tails. We want these tails to be fairly short, about half the length of the shank of the hook. So I just tie them in long and then pull them to the desired length, like so. Next thing we're going to do is tie in our silver tinsel. This will be for the ribbing. And I'm just kind of skipping some steps here just by tying in the tinsel leaving the peacock curl hanging off the back because I'm going to use this for the body that way I don't have to tie in multiple times and we just take that peacock curl and wrap it around the shank of the hook take it forward this will be the body and then I get to the eye and we're going to capture it next we're going to take our tinsel we are going to counter wrap this the opposite way that we wrapped our peacock. And then I capture that. What I like to do here too is I like to whip finish real quick with just a turn or two. This just keeps my thread from coming unraveling in the next few steps. I'm going to be putting the legs on the fly. For this, I like to use a uh, small piece of partridge. And all I do is I take off a, a clump of fibers from that feather, just like so. I'm just going to tie these underneath the fly. I just kind of pinch them in place. Easier said than done sometimes. Pinch them into place and take my thread. Do a loose wrap around to capture them. All I'm trying to do is just kind of give it some buggy, buggy legs, that's all. get in here and trim that out. Trim out the butts. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to tie in the the casing. This is the kind of the signature part of the zug bug. You can use a uh, hen feather for this or mallard feather whatever whatever you want. It's not very important not exactly what feather you use. You just want to use a mottled feather. I tie it in right on the top and then I pull it so that the fibers start right where I tied it in. Then all you have to do is trim out that stem. Whip finish. And then trim your casing. Just like so. Trim the casing on the top just like that. I just go straight across with it. And that's all there is to the to the zug bug.